Hey everyone. This is a video response to Billy Gun 64, I believe. And he asked, "Are you really you to you?" Uh, he was asking if you ever had a defining moment like uh, a realization of life that you seen something totally different like a wake-up call or whatever um, I have and I see in life totally different I am um, went to work one day um, actually you know I had felt that my body was there was something different I was getting sick or easy you know um, I went to work and I noticed that it was harder for me to do my job than it was a few days prior you know it was like my body kept something you know, it was saying, hello, go to the doctor, whatever. I ignored it. And <clears throat> about six months later, I couldn't get up. Uh, I remember always saying, I hate going to work. I hate it. Why do I have to get up and go to work? I don't want to go to work. Now I got to go to work. I would give anything to go to work now. Um, I can't. I remember, um, it's like I used to put boxes away. I was a assistant manager for a convenience store. I would fill the freezer and fill the cooler and pick up heavy boxes and put boxes away and take boxes off of a truck and now I can barely lift a box because it feels like <clears throat> my arms already have 50 pound weights on them. Um, and my wake up call or self whatever was, I always thought that being fat was the worst thing that could ever happen to me. Guess what? It isn't. <laughs> I used to think that you know, waking up one day and being a little heavier, a few more pounds was tragic. It isn't. Because when I was fat, well, oh wait, <laughs> I'm still fat. But when fat was my only problem, uh, I could go to work. I could outwork teenagers. I was a hard worker. Constantly I worked. Stood up for hours on end. I worked hard. But when you wake up one morning, go to the doctor, <clears throat> finally, ask what's wrong and they don't know, go through test after test after test after test. Then they make you feel like you're stupid and uh, trying to get out of something or trying to sponge from the government or whatever. Then I noticed that being fat wasn't so bad. I also noticed that <clears throat> when I finally got a diagnosis, of lupus and I found out what it could do to my body and especially how I felt when a doctor says you know your lungs are really bad right now which I'm gonna light up a cigarette here in a minute 
I'm serious. <laughs> but I only smoke like one or two cigarettes a day, if that. Just for relaxation. But anyway, back to what I was saying. <clears throat> the doctor tells you that, you know, your kidneys can shut down, your brain can be affected. Every major organ that you have can be affected by this illness. That you could ultimately die from what you have. Your outlook totally changes. You wake up and realize that the trees are so pretty. The clouds when they're blue or the clouds when they're on a blue sky look so beautiful. Even though the rain makes me hurt, the rain Everything that we feel or see or can imagine, your life, everything changes. Because now I can no longer do the things that I used to do. And it isn't because I'm fat. When I thought the most tragic thing ever was that I was fat and being made fun of. Um, I hope that, uh, you know, I can understand wanting to lose weight because I want to lose a little bit also as I eat a Girl Scout cookie. But what I'm trying to say I really needed that. What I mean, I understand that weight can be hard on you. And that weight can also cause problems with, you know, diabetes, high blood pressure, whatever. But I also realize that skinny people have those ailments too. I love myself for who I am. I don't like a lot of things that are going on with me that I can't change. But when it comes to everything else in my life, well, everything that to do with me, I am good to me. As good as I can be. I'm depressed a lot because I'm sick. You know, I mean, there's, there's so many things, but please love yourself for who you are. Always know that something worse could be happening and pay attention to the things around you and don't take them for granted because when you do, they could be taken away. That's all I got to say. But yes, I am really me to me.